Okay. Okay, let me see if I can grab that. Are you going to stay on the line with me? Yeah. Okay. There it is. Oh, it almost blew away. I caught it too. Wow, you're right. <laughs> that wouldn't have been no fun chasing that thing over the fence. <laughs> Okay, okay, so what do you want me to do now? Oh, let me make sure where your load is. All right. Okay, it looks as like your load is over at the warehouse to your right. Uh, the, not the blue and beige colored. The blue and gray building, yes. Okay, so. It's not at the main plant, that's our warehouse over there. Okay. So you'll turn around as you come off the scale like you're going back to the road, and then you'll see uh, the entrance in through the gate. Right. I sure appreciate it. And bring them this ticket, I, I suppose, right? Yes, and then you'll need that ticket when you go the way out because there is an out code on it that you'll need to weigh out. With. Okay, don't want to lose this then. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, they've already started loading me, so that's a good thing. I haven't even been here but three minutes in the door, and boom, <laughs> it got right on it. I like that. Nothing left to do for me for now, but drink my coffee. Okay, it would be good. It is good. It just needs to be renewed. They don't have any kind of light system here at this dock to let you know if your load is done or, or anything. So I'm guessing they'll have to come out and tell me, hey, you're done. Or they'll knock on the trailer. They didn't tell me anything, so... <laughs> As a truck driver, you spend a lot of time by yourself or with two little dogs like these little turkeys over here. Just look at the way he's looking at me. It's so sweet. Look at that little face. That's one sweet little face. He is so cute. And that's his mommy. Buff Buff. So sweet. You're such a sweet little dog rebel. Your eyes melt my heart. <laughs> they do. His, his eyes just melt my heart. What are you saying, Rebel? You want to come over here and say hi? Come on. Come on. Can you make it? Yes, my boy. Look at this. Oh, look at this. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. You want some coffee? Do you want some coffee? It's really good. Oh, you want to go outside, don't you? Well, I gotta take him out. He's the boss. Well, when I'm sitting, sometimes he's the boss. Oops. All right. I'll be back, guys. I gotta take them out. Okay, so I'm done already. That was very quick. Let me take the doggies out. I gotta pull up, put a seal on, and lock it up, and then slide the tandems, of course. Then we gotta go to the scale and check out. That looks good right there. Be right back. Sure ain't nobody back there. A little heavy. Oh, there we go. That's probably good right there. Let me double check. I usually go all the way back first. Until the tandems won't slide forward anymore. And then I can kind of guesstimate where five to seven is, because that's where I usually start at. That's about right. Just a little might be too much. I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. I'll bet you it's not right. And when you hear it click, or when the truck stops like that, you're done. Let me go double check it. Well, I'll just take you with me. Let's see where we're at on this. I'm guessing somewhere around five or seven. We'll see. I don't know if you can see. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boy, that's a hell of a guess, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so after I did all that, adding up with my shoes off, I got my shoes back on now. You know, I had to count my toes. This is what I come up with. My steer is 11,500. My drives are 33,740. And my trailer is 32,240. That's the total. I am legal. I ain't stopping at no damn cat scale this time. Woohoo! 
took exactly one hour to get from the shipper to this spot and I mean I got a little bit of mud in there but it's cold and uh, gross so I'm gonna start fresh. I made it a little stronger than normal but it's good. It's still good. Could be why my eyebrows are growing really fast. except if you're behind the GoPro, it doesn't really pick your voice up that well. So we're gonna go up here, see if we can find us a microphone. If you're into outdoor fun, they have ATVs and those little golf cart looking doodads are pretty cool. They got the little boot on there to keep sticky fingers from grabbing one. If you like boats, they got you covered. Even little paddle boats, pedal boats, I guess they call that. Pedal, pedal power boat. That's a nice one. Got this little Ranger speedboat over here. 
I wouldn't mind at least taking it for a ride. Look at this thing. That's sharp. That is sharp. Boy, I would love to have that. Ah, feller can dream. Let's go inside. Hopefully they'll let me bring the camera. I don't see any signs that say no cameras. Place is huge. Got smokers. I love. I'd love to have me a smoker. Ninety-nine cents. Don't forget that ninety-nine cents. Little booties. Oh dear. Got critters. Oh, look at that mountain lion. Yes, yeah, that's, that's one critter I wouldn't want to cross out in the woods. Now, personally, I don't hunt. I love animals, but I'm not against people hunting. I have family that does it and friends that do it. I've had best friends that tried to get me to go. That's just something I never had the heart to do. Shoot a little furry critter right in the face. I can't do it. <laughs> not me, anyway. Oh, unless I had to survive, you know, and had to do it that way. Let's see if we can find us a GoPro. Still getting distracted by the cool things they have here. That's pretty cool. I would love to take that at least for a ride. I just don't think I would want one, but I would definitely ride it. Okay, they got a little doggy section. Gotta be getting somewhere, hopefully close. I might have to ask for help. Uh, I'm one of them type of guys I usually don't until I have to ask for assistance. Okay, I'm not seeing anything on GoPro. <sighs> GoPro, you need to make this easier. Cool little signs. Not I'm not seeing a lot of employees in here to ask for assistance, so I mean you can tell there's just hardly any employees. Huh? No bell to ring. Oh, here we go, we got an employee. So I just talked to an employee and they do not do anything with GoPro anymore. They did, but they quit doing it, I guess after the merger with Bass Pro and Cabela's. And look up in the dash of my truck. Look at this. Mommy and son working on their tans. What are you guys doing? Oh, look how tan you got. While we're here, I'm gonna make some coffee and then we'll get rolling. Sorry, my nose keeps itching. I don't know if it's allergies or what, but you'll catch me doing this a lot. And uh, man. Well, they talked me into it. I'm gonna take them for a little walk. What I love about this place is you can park here, spend the night and they, they don't mind. Even in the big truck. But the problem is, it's popular, so finding a spot after seven or eight could be a challenge. Yeah, it's good to get out. It's not as windy as it normally is. You come to Sydney, Nebraska, they get a lot of wind here. And I think that's uh, the Pony Express monument but i can't remember i know i've been here before and i know the pony express is big around nebraska it got its start uh at a stop where i at a place where i stopped 
exit 211. I think that's what this is. Let's see. Yeah. National Pony Express Association. A national organization to reestablish, identify, and re-ride the historical Pony Express Trail. Now here's your founders. William Russell, Alexander Majors, William Waddell. Those are the founders of the Pony Express. And if you look at this, we'd start, that would be around in San Francisco, it looks like. I think San Francisco's around here, crossing into Reno, Nevada, and that's Nevada. That's Utah. And this is Colorado, so that would be Wyoming, is that right? Yeah, that would be Wyoming, and that's Nebraska. That's Kansas, so it looks like it drops down here, and there's Missouri right here. All right, so let's pretend you want to work for the Pony Express. It's back in the 1800s, and you want to be a Pony Express rider. Well, before you do that, you have to know their oath. They have an oath that they have to keep. And here's what it says. I do hereby swear before the great and living God that during my engagement, and while I am an employee of Russell Majors and Waddell, I will under no circumstances you pro use profane language, will drink no intoxicating liquors. I will not quarrel or fight with any other employee of the firm. That in every respect, I will conduct myself honestly, be faithful to my duties, and so direct all my acts as to win the confidence of my employer, so help me God. Uh, I'd probably have to look for another job, maybe shoveling horse shit. Walk over here for a bit. There's some geese talking. All right, we're going to get back to the truck, saddle up, strap in, and today we don't have to put the pedal to the metal because this doesn't deliver till Monday morning. So if you come through Sydney and you got a minute, come on in. They're pretty friendly in there. There's just not very many employees, at least for now. I hope that changes, but then again, it could be a number of reasons why that is. But yeah, Cabela's is pretty decent. There's your boat launch. Get out there with your little speedboat, you can't go very far. <laughs> I think once you get to third gear, you gotta stop going again. Maybe even second gear. I don't know if this camera will pick it up, but if you look, you can see a swarm of, I don't know what they're flying around right there. A swarm of what the heck are those things? But I almost... Almost ate one of them because they got right in my face. I was like, what the heck? 